What the fuck? Prick. We're going to need a little splash of olive oil, minced beef, two onions, three carrots, tomato puree, beef stock, and if you're feeling particularly naughty today, Jen, a large glass of red wine. <laughs> Feeling a little naughty, Jeff. I fucking hate my family. I mean, I love them, but I also hate their guts. Especially Tarpeia. I mean, they didn't always used to be this way. We used to be in love. We used to spend every minute of every day together. But, you know, as time goes by, you grow to despise each other. I mean, I could try divorcing her, I could try marriage guidance counselling, or I could try smothering her, slicing her open, removing her brain, cooking it, and eating it. My wife isn't the only one that shits on me every single day. There's also this waste of sperm. I suppose I could try tying him up peeling off his skin with a potato peeler and then throwing him into a nice, hot bath of salt and lemon juice. I'm kidding, of course. Of course, I would never really do any of these things. I'm only messing with you. They're my family. And at the end of the day, they're all I've got. Although... It's a lot more peaceful in here. <laughs> Delivery from Mr. Wu. Oh, I do love how your drivers never let us down. <laughs> right, so no uh, problems, no awkward questions? I just uh, dazzled him with the old baby blues and the killer smile. Never lets me down. Admit it, you're impressed. I said he'd smash it. He's a good lad, our Jezza. And you've got someone who can take this off us today, yeah? Uh, leave it to me. Always did work well together, didn't we? <laughs> You took me can. I'm gonna take my can. I don't know where it was fucking there. Where is it gone in there? Well, I ain't seen it. What's in this here, then, eh? Eh? It's on my fucking can. What are you doing? It's not fucking funny, is it? It's my last can, that. <laughs> Oh, no, I do all the fucking good. No, it's not fucking funny. We're we're trip, you should have told me about it then, no, shouldn't fuck you? Fuck you, man. Wait. Vicky, get up, get up. Go away. You, you never told me you had a cat, did you? Oh, what, you don't yeah, no, you know, do you? Fucking say that. We were wasting my fucking yeah. half then. Going oh, you're a fucking snipe, aren't you? Come on. Come on, get up. Oh. Fucking dick. I'm telling you. <laughs> See, I'm not my I'm telling you. See you later, Jed. I think it's the drains. I think I'm going to have to get Charlie to look at it. Are you all right, then? What yeah, can I do yeah. for you? Um, just wondered if if you could help us out, you know, get me and Vicky in house. Yeah, what are you happened? sure this time? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Yeah. yeah? I'm probably not going to be able to find you both somewhere to stay. But the thing is, you know what Vicky's like? Is if we don't get a place together, then she's, she won't. My mate Red was saying that if... Um, I know it sounds wrong, but if, if I say that I'm, I'm like a, a gay and, and I'm getting a, a gay bashing all the time, then we can move up the list uh, quicker and stuff, so... No, you don't want to do that, do you? I mean, that's telling lies, isn't it? I know, yeah, but if it helps us to get move it on quicker, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, then... it won't help you, <coughs> though, will it? I mean, everybody knows you're a couple and you want a flat together. <coughs> that's not going to wash with people, is it? 
I need Vicky <coughs> to come in and see me because I need to know what she wants. Right, I'll definitely make yeah? her. I'll definitely make her come in. I'll bring her in tomorrow okay. if you want. I can do it sooner than Tuesday if you want. Tuesday's good, yeah. That's right. what we'll aim for, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Me and my own, I probably wouldn't give a fuck. But I'm having to support someone else now because, you know, I mean, me and Vicky fall out a lot, but I do fucking love her. You know, I love her to bits, and um, I just want her to be safe because she's out there doing dodgy shit with fucking dodgy people, and I, I don't like it. You know, I don't, I don't want her doing that stuff. And the only way I can see her getting off it, and realistically, is to is to get get on the housing list and get a gaff, and then you know, together, you know, just get her off the gear in it and get me off the booze, and you know, I'll do that in return because it's it's worth it to me to. To sort it out with her, cause you know she's mint, isn't she? I know we bounce off each other and stuff, so so I, and I don't think that she'll find anyone. Well, do, she won't find anyone like me. Who, who, so I know she knows where her bread's buttered, kind of thing. Not that I'm trying to keep her anything like that, but you know it's just, it's just we've got that thing between us. You know, like they say, two penguins that are fucking meet and they never never want to be with another one. When we met, I've. Uh, well, I've never wanted to be with another penguin, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck off! Right, we... Don't come fucking back, yeah? Fuck don't try and fucking find me, you slut! You fucking slag! Cigarette, I'd uh, smoke it. <laughs> so, what, are you uh, working tonight? Yeah. Well, gotta say, it's a tough act to follow, even if I do say so myself. Not that well, not your confidence like or anything. <laughs> not at all. What, is this your first time? Yeah. You're shitting it. It should be. The audience is like a sharp pit. Any moment of weakness, and it'll drown you. It's good to know. It will be first line. Come on, cos if that ain't strong, then you're done. Whoa, 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 stop. Comedy, my friend, comes from the art. You've got to feel it. Right, audiences that come to these shows, they've got the attention span of a, a flea with ADHD and you're not going to gain their attention with some telegraph routine that you've written down on a bit of paper. Right, do you want some advice? In stand-up, you're only as good as your first and last joke. And if you don't hook them in straight away, then what remains of your routine will just blow over like a fart in church. <laughs> 